hey y'all so today i'm going to be doing the summer bomb pop nails these are so bomb for the summertime they look just like the popsicle don't they like oh patting myself on the back but yeah so i'm recreating this set this was originally done by mama Cita's. at least that's who i got my inspiration from i'm gonna put hers on the screen as well as her instagram so y'all should go check her out i did an inspo set from her um on my old channel it was the blue with the cherry so she's bomb go check her out for nail ideas if you're looking for them but yeah this is what my client wanted so that's what i'm doing i did not start off like how i normally do y'all i started off with the tips because i knew this was gonna be a long video and i was gonna keep it in real time so yeah this is another three-way ombre but real time this time i'm showing y'all exactly how i do it i hope that y'all enjoy it and this is my longest video so far so i hope y'all don't be mad at me but i asked if y'all would like it sped up or kept like this and most people voted keep so yeah In every video, I get asked what brush I'm using. I'm using a size 10 brush. I do not know the brand. I get this from my nail supply store. But if you're looking for a nail brush, um, a site I know of is alphabrush.com. Uh, I think I've ordered from them before. Now, I just normally get them from the nail supply store because it's easier for me. But if you're looking for a site to get brushes, check out Alpha Brush. These have got great feedback on my Instagram so far. So if you're wondering what colors I'm using for the red, I'm using Nail Haas um, Strawberry Daiquiri, which is the perfect red for this look. In my opinion, it matches exactly like the popsicle. The white I'm using is Valentino Soft Touch, which is just like a milky white, which I decided to go with instead of a more opaque white, just because I thought it would blend better. And then the blue I'm using is also by Nail Haas, and it is the color blue magic which is the perfect blue i don't think i could have got any more better of a blue for this than this blue is so bomb um make sure y'all go check out nail Haas. she's so bomb she has a youtube i'm sure that if y'all know about me you know about her she does nail videos as well and um has her own acrylic line that is bomb
I'm encapsulating using Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic. Y'all, make sure you encapsulate your ombre because you don't want to mess up that beautiful work you just did blending those together. So make sure y'all cap ombre.
this is what my application look like besides the pinky ignore that just like my last video i actually started filing the pinky before i uh, remember to show y'all the application but yeah now here i am reshaping again this is a 100 100 grit file i get my nail files from the nail supply store so i don't have a link for those y'all um but it's 100 100 grit which you can just google and i'm sure you'll find some
this is what the nails look like after i reshape them now i'm about to get into e-filing so my focus with the e-file is the very tip of the nail to just remove any thickness and the sides to clean them up and reduce thickness if there is any and then i focus mainly on the cuticle and then if i need to go over the nail if i feel any bumps and ups i will which i do in this video y'all will see me go over certain spots over and over again until i feel like they're perfect um but yeah you can find my e-file in my amazon list it is in the pack i believe it's the finest one if you get that pack you'll know what i'm talking about when i say finest um but yeah it's from amazon so go check it out
when I file the sides with the e-file, normally all of this stuff gets under the nails. So I like to flip it over and remove that because it's satisfying one and two. Who wants that all up under their nails? I don't think anybody. So if you do this, make sure you um, flip the nails over to remove all of that excess. This is what the nails look like after being filed with the electric file. And then this is what they look like after she washed her hands. Now I'm going to apply the top coat. My top coat is a no buff top coat, which you know if you watch my videos. So I do not buff the nails. I just go right in with the top coat. And we're doing shiny. This is an IBD top coat. This is also in my Amazon list. And after I apply it to each of the nails, I will cure it for 60 seconds. And then we will be all done. So now I'm applying cuticle oil to finish off the nails. I'm using a cuticle oil by Nail Cakery. I think it's in Unicorn Cupcake or something like that, but it smells so good. It smells like a cupcake. Um, so check her out as well. If you're looking for a cuticle oil, she has really cute packaging. I showed it in my last video, so check that out if you haven't watched it yet. that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this one if you recreate please send me a picture on instagram don't forget to follow me at sydney alexis and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video